Hom. Hom. Hi, welcome to Techno Talks. I'm Rydal, and we're here with somebody that has inspired me for a very, 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 very long freaking time. <laughs> Umek. Hello, hello. I'm very glad that you made time for us sure. here in Steel. Um, no I, 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 I have to ask you. What? Your name is actually Umek. Yes, my family name. It's Uros Umek. Yes, I, I know that. But when you started to DJ, did you ever have another name? Most of people usually have a cool DJ name. That That's a cool like, DJ name. Come on. You, you, no, were, no, you no, were from no, the beginning, you know what? Yeah. I'm, I'm DJ Umek. Uh, yeah, because I, I used to play basketball and all my mates called me just Umek, Umek, Umek. And then, like, finally, like, oh, this should be cool. Four letters, you know, short, cool, catchy. strange, you know. Well, I mean, I don't know, it was catchy back then. But uh, yeah, it kind of worked well. You know? it, except we say U and uh, English is U, so it's kind of strange. You Mac. Yeah, yes. you, you Mac. I, I love techno. Right? You Mac. You Mac, the green room, this and that. Yes, and <laughs> I remember the set of 2001. <laughs> <laughs> you Mac, you Mac. No, no, no. Uh, how many times do people mess up that name when they announce you on stage? Um, not often anymore. But yeah, back in the days, um, every single time, of course. Which are the worst variations that you have heard? Uh, pff, I don't know. Basically, they, they did it quite well with UMEC, so... The UMEC yeah, is, yeah, the, is yeah. the one. Yeah, yeah it is. UMEC. It is. It is. And then, one thing in, in Brazil, they called me UMECI. So, I guess it was like, you know, like in Spain, when you have... They put E before S, yeah. like it's not Slovenia, it's Slovenia, and it's not Svenvet, it's Svenvet. Yeah. So yeah, it might yeah. be like Umek, maybe they are like, that's the rule in their language, so they put I on the end, might be. I but didn't do any research, they, guessing. They, they pronounce the, the Y as, as E, because that is my problem as well when people say <laughs> my name, like Varela called me Riddle, and he, he cannot say, it took him you three see. times to... So, so you see, who, uh, who knows? Yeah, you, you never know what they, they, they know. make from it. But I was, I was uh, <laughs> so funny. Uh, but I was, my, my, um, uh, my personal name was uh, pronounced Euros and then it is Eros. Eros. <laughs> Eros. 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 <laughs> Eros. <laughs> it happened a few times. Uh, <laughs> not mentioning the names, some, some famous DJs and producers. And I was like, Euro, like Eros or Eros? <laughs> <laughs> they they cannot get over. Yeah, but the, the rest of the world doesn't have uh, Shumniki. Yeah, Shumniki. Yeah, uh, so we do not know. No, everybody says Uros. Oh. So you you have been on the scene for such a long time, so many different countries that you played in. Um, is there any difference for you that, where you play across the border, like cultural? Do you feel some people more than others? Yeah, but it's like. Um, I remember the time where I really didn't like to play in, play in Switzerland and in Austria. Yeah. But then that completely changed. I love to play now because it's, it's probably, it's the generation. I, I think like when you're in a club and if you just close your eyes, obviously, or if, if you don't see a, 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 a skin, a different skin, then it's kind of, it's all kind of similar. It's all about uh, having fun, the energy and just having great time. So, like, obviously, when you go out of the club and the next day, the next day you go around the city, you might be in a super hot uh, south, and the next day you are in somewhere yeah, north. Yeah, yeah. But, but otherwise, uh, I think like music is kind of connecting uh, same-minded people around the world, and you can kind of feel that. Has has that like changed over the years that you feel? Yeah, some other countries now suck at the partying, you know, not in Switzerland at all. <laughs> <laughs> so this is gonna, yeah, it's, it's just evolving and changing all the time. Yeah, the, the, the scene in general is. And yeah. so, so has your style been, because... Exactly. exactly. Your, your style was really all over the place. How do you stay relevant in the scene for so long? and uh, change your sound accordingly. And you're usually quite ahead of the curve. You're like a trendsetter. How do you anticipate what's I, I, the I next guess, sound? I guess that's exactly the reason. This is the thing that you're saying. Um, I kind of try to explain it like that, you know. Um, I am spending hours and hours of searching for the music, hours and hours of listening to the music, and hours and hours 
of, of, of making the music. I guess I get sick of certain or bored of certain sound and then I'm searching for something, something fresh. And you just have these kind of new things on the market when then it, it grabs your attention. Uh, this, was before, this was formula before, but it's not right now. I am doing now exactly the opposite. Sure. I what, I, what I'm doing, no. You what know the question is coming. What I'm doing right now is actually, I really like melodic house and techno, yeah. but I'm trying to stay away because I'm going to get tempted and again, I'm going to change my style and I'm yeah. going to fuck up a lot of things because of that, you know, and stuff like that. And it's like I'm losing my fans and it's kind of hard to get fans. And, and, and then they, they're putting Umek tattoos and I'm changing my style. And then, <laughs> yes. like, of course they're pissed. I mean, I would be the same, you know, like there are, there are people um, which they have name Umek, you know, personal name. And then because of the sound and stuff, and then I understand they are, they are, they are not happy. Yeah. So now I said, okay, I'm not gonna get, um, I'm not gonna listen to other styles and keep away as much as possible so I don't get tempted. Because yeah, I am a curious person. But, 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 there is, there is a but and it's a big but. You do like to revisit old sounds and not, not really recycle it because in the techno scene now everyone is, is recycling it. You are more um, reinventing, like um, I don't know. It's just like, like your 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 alias is is more of a based on the past than it is based on the future of of techno. I could so I, I could give it a, a completely different name. I could I could I could do that, and then you wouldn't ask me this question. So it's just like answer whatever you want to say. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're yeah. So basically, speak, if so. I put the polyvinyl, you immediately think, okay, it's a retro thingy. No, no, no. I'm, I'm saying the, the scene is doing that, and you are not really reinventing. Uh, yeah, yeah, you are kind of. It, the, the sound that, that what I get out of it. So you can correct me if I'm wrong. Is that is the, the old school kind of feel. The, mm -hmm. the groove is still there from the old feeling. But it's in a completely repackaged. Now you lost me. Which tracks, remixes, the aliases are we talking about? Polyvinyl. Okay, po polyvinyl. Yeah, um, I, I made all these loops, um, hard grooves loops, uh, tribal techno stuff like that for such a long time that it's kind of rooted in me as many other things. And it's yeah. for me, it's super, super simple and easy to kind of revisit that. It's big fun, but then again, uh, a little bit of challenge. Again, not too much. Uh, it's kind of, it's. I don't want to kill the mystique, you know. It's like if I'm going to be too honest, people love stories and everything uh, wrapped in, in 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 mystery and stuff like that. But it's, yeah. I just feel it. It's feel it, and in, when there's a time, I said, okay, I found this groove. I'm going to make it uh, tribal. Let's do it. You know, it's uh, it's not it's not. I don't have a plan with the, with the polyvinyl. I I don't. I That's have, I made few loops, they're on my hard, hard disk, we'll see what happens. It might happen that I'm gonna have uh, 10 EPs lined up and released, or might happen it's just one, it's gonna, it's gonna be just one. Um, I don't know. How do you decide to release which ones go for Umek and which one go for Polyvinyl? Um, How do you make the decision? It's, I mean, obviously, I guess you can hear it by the first three seconds. What is what? What is what? So, so yeah, but you you pick that specifically when you make something. You're like, this is that. I mean, again, the new release that I'm going to do on 1605, the second track is a kind of a hybrid between the the regular Rumex stuff that I do plus mixed with polyvinyl. But then again, it's like mixed so so strange that it's not one thing, not the other. So here we go. It's like you 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 never know what's going to happen. I have this thing in my, in my mind and I'm just making tracks and then on the end it's like, well, okay, this is groove, this is groovy, this is hard groove, new hard groove, obviously, Basically, uh, yeah. yeah, new hard groove, uh, maybe it's going to get even a new name, I don't know, uh, please, all the hard groove fans don't kill me because it doesn't sound like it sounded in 2000 uh, something, you know. Yeah. Because it, it will never never will with me, you know. It's uh, yeah, the sound progresses. The sound progresses, so, and yeah. I kind of, you know, that's the first thing what I do. I kind of hate uh, when fans are like, "Oh, why don't you do stuff like in 2000?" Man, it's 2022. It's 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 obvious. You know, I'm 20 years older. I learned a lot of things. So um, yeah, I'm gonna always advance, even if I'm gonna use a new loop, uh, old loop. We have new um, new uh, new plugins which work yeah. much better. 
I learned shitloads in those uh, 20 years. Of course. And then at the same time, I understand um, old fans lo loving my uh, old music. It's just, well, it is what it is. Of course. <laughs> Speaking of that, <laughs> now we come to the eternal. And by domain. the way, nobody even knows that I'm going to release a party <laughs> We're, we'll edit that out and nobody, yeah, 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 nobody's yeah, yeah. gonna know. Nobody's okay, gonna let, know. let me tell you this part, and you know that story. It's kind of, you know, when, when it's, it, was, it was crazy. Uh, when I just bought a few sample packs, the whole hard groove scene yes, kind of just exploded. It's like, ah, oh, Izumi coming yes. back. He's yes, gonna he's do gonna hard groove. Like, <laughs> no, I mean, I don't, I don't know. We'll see, you know. Well, yeah. Maybe, you know, we're gonna look this interview in, in three years, and we're gonna laugh, and I'm gonna go full on percussive and, and, and and tribal and hard groovy or, or whatever. I don't have a clue. I I doubt it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I said I, it many I times. You, I sent you some of those screenshots because <laughs> yeah. everyone and you you bought them with your your exactly. You see, I'm so stupid that I don't even cover my my ass, you know. And then yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. Uh, all these speculations. And now the people then they are coming to me. Who make? Have you heard the hard groove is is uh, is, is, is coming back? And it's like, where are did you, you heard it? And then they they, they 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 heard it from the guy that I bought a sample back from, yeah, you know. Yeah, because and everyone posted it. There were at least three, four guys yeah, that I saw that was like, "Hey, psst, man, bought my sample back. Wow, wow, wow! He's gonna do hard groove I, again." Yeah. And they feel so special, which they should, yeah. but not as as I buy a lot of sample packs. I buy a lot of sample packs, and I don't use shit loads of sample picks I just you, you you in the studio you are mostly now you you're without uh, most of synthesizers yeah, you are, you a, are very it, basic in your setup of course right? it's so. like i mean it's very basic but very complicated all the complicated things are in my computer and i can do all the work that, that needs to be done by that so yeah i sold uh, on purpose i sold all the hardware yeah uh, even though i um, like i build up my career with the hardware but at the same time, I feel that, um, that the guys from big companies which are selling hardware are making an amazing job um, um, kind of putting idea into young producers' heads that this is necessary to make uh, a good track. It's not. It's your, it's your knowledge that makes a track, not, a, yeah. not, a, not, a, not a equipment. So you don't need a synthesizer to make a good track. Um, it's mostly cluttering your your workflow if you get new stuff. You can make a hit record with a hard, but of it's not it, it's not uh, it's not uh, something that you need to do. It's like I this is why I kind of um, um, I'm trying to prove my point. I do all my stuff with laptop and let's say Zeta Reticula, the electro stuff, which sounds kind of analog, and people are asking like, "Wow, all these scenes like uh, I saw you bought this modular, I saw this bought bo you, you bought this modular." I said, "Yes, I bought it, and then I sold it immediately." So all that stuff is made by by uh, soft synths as well. Yeah. yeah. So um, what I'm trying to promote is you don't need this, all these expensive equipment. You need knowledge which you can get on YouTube, and you need a computer uh, speaker, uh, not even speakers, just headphones, and and, yeah. and you can you can succeed in this scene. And I think this is much healthier than to kind of plant a seed of a producer that he will make a hit only with a super expensive synthesizer. He of won't. Of course, of course. He won't. That is definitely true. The question that I was going to ask you, <laughs> where we're back at, vinyl versus digital. You are an absolute master on turntables. You were, I assume still are, uh, on three decks like an absolute beast. There are uh, not a lot of people that can do. But you made the choice yeah. to then go to that laptop, or not even one, but two, and create a fully digital setup. How, how did you get that? I think I am uh, one of those DJs which can uh, make a little bit of judgment of here what's what's good and what's not because I'm still releasing vinyls. I'm still buying a lot of vinyls. Yeah. I still do vinyl sets for uh, social media. I made like in the COVID uh, time, times Lots I made 10 things, or yeah. more, 15, I don't know. I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm buying right now in the summer, buying a lot of techno, a lot of electro, which I'm, when I'm coming back to Ljubljana, I'm going to record again vinyl stuff. But vinyl is, uh, it's like, a, if I can compare it, it's like a two-dimensional, and then when you when you uh, when you go to uh, um, uh, controllers, CD players, and stuff like that, it gets three-dimensional. It's like when you on the vinyl, it's mostly like a, a, a time code. It just goes one way, and it goes like from the beginning to the end. Comparing to the to the digital, which you can skip and manipulate in many many other ways. 
So there was this time when I was thinking like, oh, okay, so I achieved on vinyls um, uh, the maximum. I played three, four decks back then, you know, it was uh, with an ease, at, at least three, four, was a bit difficult, no, 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 um, I'm not gonna lie, but uh, then I said, okay, like with, with the computers and with, with digital tech, the tech, uh, tech, uh, with the digi digital domain, I can do so many things that it's uh, much, more, much more interesting, and it is, and still today, I love the smell of the vinyl, I love the, 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 the artwork, I, I, I keep the vinyl, I collect them, I play them, but they are limited. They are super, super limited. So you still have your entire collection of vinyls? No, not entire, the entire collection took uh, too much space in my house, so basically I sold or mostly gave away the vinyls that I didn't play, but I still keep a few thousands of, of, of vinyl. Few and, thousand. Yeah, and I bought just last year at least 500 vinyls, in, so I'm still buying new stuff you know, on, on the vinyl. It's, yeah, you said, yeah. I don't, I don't know if it makes much sense, but it's like that old, old school umek is still in me somewhere, you know, and it, it has these needs, you know, to kind yeah, of yeah. Um, do some, some stuff, you know. Yeah, but the, the, the vinyl, it is, the, the, the feeling of it is just kind of, it's it's a different kind it's a of feeling. mixing. It's, than, yeah, uh, it's a different kind of mixing. Yeah, it, it is. But you know, like if and I think I deserve that chance that I can compare this to think it is a little bit more boring to see DJs. Now, if you're gonna go, what's what's harder? Then I would say the vinyl, because beat matching you don't have the the, the fancy digital counters where you can all this stuff. Yeah. It is harder, um, but I don't know. Yeah, digital kind of the the computer gives you more, more or the room to players. be. Yeah, or the it's the creativity is there. I'm yeah, just like you can jumping, be more adding, creative. You, know, you exactly. don't have to. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, it's a it's a vinyl. It's a completely. It's like comparing. I don't know. Uh, ski jumps to to uh, slalom. I don't know. It, <laughs> it, we both have skis. You know, it's the the same thing. No, maybe. Maybe slalom to 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 smoke to the so, downhill. <laughs> but so you you prefer? What do you prefer? If you go out onto a party, is it just like I would the, play digital because you, you know, like okay, if we if we dig this deeper, it's like okay, how um, how is it possible that these days you're gonna get a a, um, a really good deck plus really good hat and a needle yeah. plus the, the curl cables are gonna work. With Plus no it's feedback, on the stable. exactly yes, all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's like um, I did a few gigs uh, with, with with friends of mine, and they they were like they were saying, no no, I'm gonna go vinyl, I'm gonna go vinyl, I'm gonna go vinyl. I said, please go to the CDJs. We're gonna do it, um, you know, much louder, much better quality. In I, yes, I said that. Um, um, and <laughs> yes, I said that. Uh, <laughs> and I can explain why. Um, and uh, so so basically. Um, they played after me and they had to go in you know, a volume down about 30%. And imagine when there's a big crowd of a few thousand people and you just need to go 30% uh, down of the sound. Now, going to the sound, again, in a perfect condition at home with a perfect deck, with a perfect needle, with a perfect cable, uh, you, can, you, can, you can have that nice warm sound, but like, uh, it doesn't work like that. In 99%, yeah, 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 yeah. the sound is worse because there's the smoke, there's all this material going going to the to, to the vinyl, and it's, it's scratching and it's, it's click. The stage it's, is doing this. Yeah, this and that. So yes. please don't 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 talk about plus, the quality. Plus, I personally, all of the vinyl that my, my first vinyl, for example, is from you, uh, Lani Kor, which you signed back in the days. <laughs> I'm not. I don't want to bring it into the club. But that that's staying <laughs> yeah. at home, you know. Yes, no, like, no, yeah. All the drunk <laughs> people, and you know, you never know what's gonna happen. So yeah, it, it and, makes and, sense. and again, I love the sound of the vinyl. Yeah. You just need to be kind of fair and and say, okay, if everything is perfect, then I understand, you know, the the ritual of putting the needle up and. What would be your your rarest vinyl in your collection that you're like, you know, which one I have? I have that one. I don't have a clue because there's so many of them that are rare. You, you don't have one I that, have that is, that is uh, your, no. your number one. No, you know. no, no. no. They, they, I remember which vinyl that would be. Would be uh, back in the days before I got it, would be Red 2 from Dave Clark, yes. which I struggled to get. And then they said that I struggled to get um, um, Joe Beltram Caliber EP on Warp. 
But then this cock came and fucked up everything. You can order everything. You see, everywhere. you know, you see, it's like it's there. What I what I miss is like what I miss with the digital area, uh, uh, digital era and vinyl is that uh, you can instantly get access to to everything. Yeah. And when you instantly get access to to uh, to, to everything, you kind of uh, you don't appreciate it that much. True. I imagine me trying to get a record for a year or two, and like it was sold out everywhere. Nobody wants to to sell it, and even be like, who do, who are you gonna ask? Young young DJs don't even know that problem anymore because you needed to actually go to a record store, yeah. and there was very limited yeah. supply. And now you know. But that's just in my head. Yeah. And yours and other DJs who play the vinyl, yeah. young kids don't care. They just want to have music right now, and they can get it on Spotify, or the Beatport, or like everywhere in a second. And that's it. That is, that is very true. So yeah, the struggle to get music back then was much more, uh, was harder and more romantic. It was. It, it was the, the violin for the. the so you see, violin. I'm not, I'm not against it. You know, I'm not saying this, this. It has. No, no, I, I, I knew that, yeah, and yeah. I, I, I also, I understand your reasoning, but I still <laughs> had to ask you of this course, of question. Course. You, of you course. know, it's like what I, what I think of that. So you you switch to the digital now. You're on on CDJs. You you prepare sets in advance. Do you have an idea what you're gonna do before you go out? I do. Stage? I am prepared in in sense of that I my folder is always about 60, 70 tracks or a, a fresh playlist long, and then I'm adding, 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 and I was like, okay, this is an old playlist and make a new one and I bring like 10, 10 tracks that I really like from the old one, mix it up with the new. So it's constantly, yeah. but I kind of. It's now it, for me. It's so automatic that when I listen to the new the new stuff on the internet, I already know what's gonna go together. It's like it's uh, it's it's, it's do, do you do you sort tracks by by key or do you have yeah. by you the have energy. A system just by, by energy? energy yeah, pick the music. So I mean, how I see music is like uh, I see it by the by by the energy. It's like always okay if this if this track doesn't have a proper kick, it's gonna mix shitty with that one. So it's like, this is my first rule. First rule is, oh, sorry. First rule is like, I need to love that track. You know? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> but then it goes like, okay, this one goes well with this one. This one has a rolling bass line. This one has this, or this 10 has rolling bass line. This one just has a, a rumble. This one is a little bit weak. So I kind of, in my head, I know when I'm going to use what and how the transitions is going to go if needed. Even though I hate it, I would love to have um, by the energy two hours of, uh, a kind of similar uh, stuff in that domain, in the energy domain. So you do not take requests? That's not a thing that you would do? No. If somebody comes up, hey, can you play? No, now right now when they ask me what I do, it's like, um, they asked me for a, for a request and I was like, no, no, no. And like, but then this guy or the, or the girl was asking me 10 times. Now what I do, yes, I'm going to play it. Like when, like two, two o'clock, like when I'm going to finish and then that's, yeah. I found my, my uh, thing is so uh, I, I'm not get I'm not get uh, bothered anymore. Yeah, but I I do take requests every once in a while, but it's people can be really annoying when they come in, in your face and like. Eh. Yeah. Is is there something that you let Let's not stick with the negative, but but positive. Somebody that is, was in your face that gave you something that you're like you know memorable. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can tell you there was this guy. A friend of mine, Urosh, uh, who brought me a Chibeli Tsamaya uh, on a small vinyl, and I, I played it immediately at the, at the party. <laughs> and I remember there was this uh, there was this guy as well in Holland. I played in Holland. It was years ago, and he maybe we've seen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, I was. I think it was Awakenings, and this guy brought me a Schlager record, and he gave me the Schlager, and I was I was I was like, what? This is a 33. So it was too slow, so I played 45 and I mixed it up with a beat together. <laughs> and like all these friends were just like jaws, like when, like, cause they were making a joke. And I made a decent re uh, edit, mix uh, on, yeah. on a fly, or for Schlager, like on 45. And like all the people went mad and all. I probably I was I was a demigod for them since since then. Yes, but <laughs> a schlager, man. That, a schlager. that was that was on on vinyl, I assume. It was on vinyl. See, there, there we go again. You were really great on vinyl. Why don't you? Yeah, no, 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 no. That's, that's okay. Okay, it might it might seem that I kind of try to um, I, avoid kidding, a question. Kidding, no, no, no. I'm, I'm proud of everything I've achieved on vinyl. I still can play on vinyl pretty good, you know. So it's it's, it's not a problem, and I enjoy it. I sometimes. I 
I, it's not that I play vinyl only when I do live sets, um, uh, streams. Live Sometimes stream. I just go, you know, up there um, and I just you know, bring bring some stuff that I love, some breakbeat from 93 that I don't, don't, don't get to play and yeah, nobody knows yeah, yeah. that I really love it and I have a huge collection of it, like really rare records, you know, the ones that you ask, like, what it is. Uh, uh, so, and I just play that stuff for me, you know, just for fun, um, yeah. Do you still have have goals that you're looking forward to, something that you, you know, want to achieve? Of or course. Without goals, you are nothing. In what the what are your, you are, you are really like, a, you're a big name in the scene, you've been topping charts for, for ages, speedport number one selling techno artists. The, the plan is to, to keep doing that, man. Keep doing that? Yeah, of course. Stay man. on top of the game? Yeah, I mean, like, I, I still love doing music, I do it like every single day. Um, one form or another, and uh, it, it, it makes me smile. I, when I was younger, I was thinking, okay, this is, I mean, the phase, not the phase, but probably when I'm going to be 50, maybe I'm not going to do as much music as I back in the days. But I still, I still do. I enjoy it. You're, you're almost there, right? Yeah, I'm almost there. A few, few, we have a few years, four years more. Oh my God, shut up. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm clearly like 10 years younger than you are, so you know, it's, it's yeah, not... Yeah, we're getting old. But the, the... No, you you might be, I'm uh, you, saying young. You're getting uh, younger. Yeah, I'm getting you, younger. You're Brad Pitt in that movie that goes the opposite, right? When he, when he bores old and then he gets younger and younger. And then at the end, yeah. he's a baby and dies. Exactly. With the... Um, you said you, you have uh, vinyls that you really... Uh, we're looking forward to get, like you mentioned, Dave Clark. Uh, are there those people that you still look up to in the scene? Like um, that no, not anymore. No, in terms of you're like no, I mean, it, it sounds harsh now when I say it like that. But you know, when you are a young kid, and when you go to a Mayday and you see West Bam and you see Carl Cox and and Dave Clark, and then. You know, all these guys are later playing your music. It's kind of okay. I'm um, to who should I look up to? Like all my role models became my friends. You know, yeah. I talk to them, send them stuff. We see each other. So it's kind of uh, yeah, it's a crazy thing. You know, I kind of forget how special this should be because I'm so used to it. You know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I, like I remember still that moment. You know, be, me being on the dance floor and. And when I heard, when I saw DJ, I was like, oh, I would love to meet him. You know, I was a proper fan, a proper raver, you know, and then all my, all my dreams came true and I met those people and I and still meet them, them around. They play my stuff. Uh, they treat me as a friend, as a colleague. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's awesome. It's them awesome. I, I, I should be thinking about it a little bit more often. Yeah, you should because yeah. For, yeah. for us yeah, it's like fuck it. I, should. I, I guess for <laughs> for for other uh, for other DJs they they don't often get to be in that yeah. kind of position. Yeah. So, but you get used to all the good things. That's the thing. This is the human nature. Oh, oh at least mine. Uh, we kind of, as I said, I we kind of don't appreciate different uh, certain things. And uh, you get to complain about uh, not sleeping and traveling the next day and stuff like that. And uh, what, a, a DJ what, would kill to what be is my, the, my... What is the absolute most amount of gigs that you ever did in one weekend? How did that look like? No, it was. I, th I think I've done nine gigs in ten days, or or ten gigs in nine days, and it was devastating, especially because I had to travel. And right now, when you see a schedule of young kids, I uh, DJs kids like uh, and the younger uh, like, generation. Yeah, the younger yeah. generation is like how they do it. And then I remember, fuck it, I, I, I did the same thing. Yeah. Uh, when you're younger, you don't need that much sleep, you don't complain about so much. I'm just grump, gr grumpy old bastard. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do, because you, you do become like that. It's, uh, yeah, at least I did. Are you picky with bookings now more than? Yeah, of course, of course. You try to avoid the stuff that uh, is not going to be good. So um, there are still promoters which cannot book me. And uh, what is the absolute weirdest thing that you saw somebody request on a rider that you... Because I assume you oh, have a rider, uh, right? When you travel, you don't have to My be... rider was, was, was pretty strange. Uh, for, for some people, I, I remember there being a unicorn. Exactly. Did you see a video from, from Ibiza? They I, did I, all these, they, they, ah, they did a good job. So. 
Um, obviously, uh, my management was thinking like, what should we do? So there was a unicorn. And sometimes I got a, a, not a unicorn, a, a fluffy the yeah, <laughs> unicorn yeah, stuff. Yeah. Then I came to Ibiza to play there and I went to a dressing room and there was a horse with a thingy on it. An actual horse. An actual horse. And I almost shit my pants when I, when I went to the room. Look, ah! There's the video, check it out. There's the video on the YouTube. We're, we're gonna Google that right <laughs> after this interview. Imagine, imagine that. So they actually hired a horse. <laughs> Brought yeah. it to the dressing to the room. Club, yeah. I was like, there, and then there was the horse in my dressing room. So and so, then I was thinking, like, okay, they, all, I, I congratulate them, you know, because okay, took it seriously, you know. Uh, but at the same time, like when you see a uh, poor animal in a club in a dressing room, it's yeah. like, okay, maybe I should remove that. So you did remove it. We did. So actually, I asked you for other people, but the weirdest thing on it's, the rider yeah, is yeah, you. Yeah, it's me. It's me. It's me. <laughs> So any, the, from other people, something that you you heard or saw, you know, that you were like, I mean, oh, I this, this unicorn that that is. I, I think the unicorn. What's how can you top the unicorn? Yeah, the dinosaur probably is stuff like that, you know. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Who, who, yeah. who has a dinosaur? I don't know. Like who has unicorn? Yeah, you you, you are. <laughs> you see, there the, there the must be the there must be this strange guy that has a dinosaur. On, in the, the Maybe rider. that's for your next for the future. <laughs> that is what what we're going to oh have. Oh my god! I'm gonna shoot my pants. In. <laughs> big big <laughs> lizard there. Come with us. <laughs> now, um, I think we we kind of covered the the time. Did we boss? The boss shakes. Yes. Then the boss I will moves. ask. I will ask you one final question. Okay. Um, what is the number one advice that you would give to the younger generation? To the, mo the most difficult. Yes. Be patient. Uh, this is something the young generation is lacking. Everybody wants to see uh, to succeed over a night, and we're living in a times where you actually can but not everyone so be patient and, and learn your skills and your craft and uh, yeah the future is bright then and so we hope that your future will stay bright as well Yay! <laughs> <laughs> I remember you said you said like you're a good dj but you play the wrong uh, music the wrong music <laughs> <laughs> Razumeš, vidno, a po okrsu uh, niščini. Ja, lahko. Je super, se pa podemo. Yeah. Okay. Don't talk me, it's 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 just... <laughs> I, I believe you. <laughs> And Especially if you put your weight behind it. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> And then now at least I'm not sweating yet. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am, I am. <laughs> of course you are, you're getting to my size slowly. Okay, this is we're not doing this. We're not <laughs> doing this.